Today is moving day. Um, just finished work and Mew has already hopefully moved all the boxes. Um, we did have to hire a moving company in the end because we have so much stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So let me show you a little bit of the area. We're out far in Songjiang district, far away from the city center and everything here is quite new and flat. So let me show you. So these are the buildings that we'll be living in. If you look around, it's all just commercial buildings or flat land, which is good because it means there's quite a few parks around. Even in Shanghai, I'm always surprised by the nature that you can find. Just look at this bird, he was so big! But I have the glamorous job of keeping the doors open um, because they have a big trolley thing that they're bringing up all the boxes on in in on um, and I next to here is a face scanner so we don't have a key card or a key to get in it scans our face and it lets us in but Muse isn't working so I'm designated face scanner <laughs> today um, it's very dark in here because I can't figure out how to turn the lights on I did it. I watched. So it's day two of moving, and just came to the apartment, and there was a Ferrari outside. I said to me, you know, the only thing more rare than a Ferrari in this part of the city is a foreigner. Why, Gora? Me. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to the other new apartment. Yeah! We are number 10 right on the edge. And it's a beautiful autumn day. We got a scooter and I named him Xiao Niao. Little bird because he's little and meow <laughs> is the noise that car makes. Uh, I'm back in lockdown, uh, Disneyland had a case of Covid and now work is closed so I'm working from home so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you our apartment now that we've kind of moved in. Um, all our stuff's here, there are still some things that we need to buy, mostly storage solutions and things like that but I thought I would show you what it looks like when there's not boxes everywhere. So this is our entryway. And we go into the bathroom. So there's quite good storage in here. Big mirror. Hello. <laughs> um, and then the bathroom with the water heater and shower. We bought this little um, storage thing to keep our shower gels on instead of just leaving them in the windowsill. Um, we have some shelves. I need to put our fire detector, our smoke alarm up. Um, cabinet for shoes. This is really good, but it, it doesn't fit Mew's shoes in, so only mine are in here. Uh, coat rack and then the kitchen. We have a big fridge freezer, which is good because the one bed apartments in this complex only have a tiny one. Um, not bad. I think we will buy a microwave and see if we can put it on top of the fridge maybe because there's not much surface space. And then we have the dining room. I'm working from home, so this is also my desk and office space. Now the big mirror, hello. <laughs> uh, and then this is the smaller bedroom, which is basically just my stuff, my clothes, electronics. Um, and this is where we put all the bedding and extra towels that we don't have a storage box for yet. The window doesn't get much light, it just looks out onto like the corridor area and then the master bedroom 
So this is Mew's wardrobe. All of his stuff. We do have space up there for storage bins, so I guess we'll get some at some point. We would also like a proper seat cushion area for here and maybe a little tray for me to put my morning bits on. It's quite nice. And then the living room. Mew uses this space um, for his games. He has like online gaming that he does on phones. This is our balcony. So the washing machine, there's no tumble dryer, but it doesn't take long for the washing machine to go. The last one was three hours. This takes about 15 minutes to wash your clothes. Um, we have an error, which I'm currently waiting to do a load of laundry after I finish work. And uh, you can hang it up on here. So I've got a special rod so that I can reach it. Um, we would like to get some chairs for this outside area, but yeah, not yet. We sometimes bring the dining room chairs out and sit out here though. They're okay. Uh, you can fit two on here, but we kind of need a table um, and we obviously can't have the chairs out whilst we have the laundry drying on the era. So I think we'll get some like camping fold up chairs, but the nice ones. Um, and then we can bring them inside in winter um, or if it's raining. So yeah, this is our apartment. Hello, I realized I didn't say any of this um, earlier in the vlog, but I thought I'd give some more information about where we are living. So I said that we're living out in Songjiang district. Um, this is kind of far from the city center, but it's not really the countryside. Um, we lo live in a beautiful big community. Um, and this community is gated. Um, to get in, you have to scan your face. So there are no key cards. Um, that's also really nice because I always forget my key. <laughs> the community also has um, some restaurants, a little shop, noodle bars, places like that. We're also getting a Starbucks. There is a free gym, um, which I will probably never use. Ping pong tables, tennis courts, things like that. Um, and there are three different apartment sizes here. So you have the very small one, which shares a kitchen. Um, you have the medium one, which is still a one bed, but it has its own kitchen. And then we have the larger apartment, which is a two bed, um, around I think 86 square meters, something like that. So not massive, but still significantly bigger than our last apartment. And we're paying 4,900 RMB per month. So that's like the base price. However, because of the company that Mew works for and because he'll have Shanghai identity, we will be able to get around 2,500 RMB subsidy from the government towards our rent. So our final rent at the end of the month will be around 2,500 RMB, which will split between the two of us. So significantly cheaper than where we were living before and bigger. Um, the only downside really is the distance from the city centre and the fact that I have to get up at 20 past five in the morning to go to work. That's a real kicker. But we have friends here and we're happy and we're able to save some money. So yeah, I am very happy living here. <laughs> Thank you for watching and join us next episode on Expat Nat.